His surname might suggest another winter sport, skiing. But in the rare moments these days when Nizhny Novgorod head coach Einars Bagatskis turns his attention away from basketball, his choice for an alternative pastime involves a stick, a puck and an ice rink. Bagatskis, a successful small forward and well-known shooter in his playing days with teams like Zalgiris Kaunas, always appreciated other sports and used them throughout his career to stay in shape. When I was a basketball player, I tried to use in the summertime. It's like special pre preparations for my body for, uh, for uh, many different kind of sports. Beach volleyball, tennis, because there is a feet work, uh, the mo moving, so the body preparation is very similar, and same time it's a different. A native of Latvia who played most of his career in his home country, Bagatskis waited for retirement to try one sport that had always intrigued him, ice hockey. I'm not just a fan and even I play. When uh, I'm retired from the basketball, my friends invite me to play. I can be the friends from the beginning, but then uh, our team enjoys some former Latvian national team ice hockey players, and then I play against them. There was the keepers from the national team players. That's interesting. When he got to Nizhny Novgorod this season, he was surprised to find that another former player, the current chairman of the board at Nizhny, shares his passion for the puck. My boss, Sergei Panov, also <laughs> Basketball and hockey are two sports that seemingly have little in common, but coach Bagatskis has deep knowledge of both and sees plenty of similarities. They look like different, but it's a, both of them is team sports. Basic things for offense and defense, players' movements, players' rotations, is very similar. Just a little bit different, you know. No. Ice hockey players, <laughs> they play maybe a little bit faster. At age 47, and with a EuroLeague team to coach, Bagatskis finds little time during the season to devote to hockey, not even in the dead of winter in Russia which means that what is a winter sport for the rest of the world is a summer sport for him. I have a short summer break and uh, like a little bit more as the one month. With my friends, I'm moving and once or twice a week, we play the ice hockey. On the basketball court, Bagatskis also maintains good form as a shooter, something he attributes to years of dedication, yes, but also to enjoyment. For me, it was the best with shooting abilities. A three point shots, free throws, and uh, if you have something, yes, by yes, you can even not do, even no practice for that, you are still good. I just want to compare as uh, one of the, my last, last years when I played in Euro League. We played with uh, Sabonis together. Uh, he just practicing for limited times in a week, but he was MVP of Euro League. His, when he came to the practice, he just come like, like, like he do every day, you know, <laughs> he's not do every day, but his confidence, his that ability, his wish to play, just enjoy the basketball was, was very impressive. Bagatsky sometimes uses his continuing prowess at shooting to motivate his players by challenging them to free throws and three-point contests. I just want to touch some players, I want to say, how is it possible I'm not practicing and I can shoot better as you, just stay in the gym, just shoot a lot, just, just prove that you are better as me. So while his heart belongs to basketball, Bagatskis has it very clear that the combination of effort and enjoyment are what unites all sports. I feel devotion even on the ice.